The first step in this course is to initialize and set up our project. We'll be using the Neon database serverless Postgres service for this. If you don't already have an account, you can go to this link over here and click on that, and that should take you to the Neon database website. They have a pretty generous free tier. You can get half a gigabyte of storage for free. All right, let's start with the first step here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this command. So here in my terminal, I'll go ahead and create a directory for this project. So I'll create a drizzle ORM course. I'll CD into that folder, and then I will run npm init to start node project. And I'll go ahead and hit enter for all of these prompts. All right, so I'll paste in the command from the documentation. And then I will run code dot to open this in VS Code. All right, so let's just double check our package JSON so you can see that we have our dependencies installed. So for the second step, we're going to connect Drizzle ORM to the Neon database. So I'll go ahead and copy this code here and I'll go back to VS Code. I'll create a folder db and a file drizzle.ts and then paste in this code and you can see that we're initializing a SQL instance uh, for the Neon database so if you're using a different database like MySQL or a regular Postgres instance then you would do something similar and then you would pass that in to drizzle to create a database instance for the third step, we're going to set up the Drizzle config file. And this file is used by Drizzle Kit. So it contains all the information about your, Driz uh, your database connection, migration folder, and schema files. So you can see that there's a path to your schema. Uh, it has an output folder here where the migrations are dropped, the driver information, the uh, database credentials. So I'll copy this. And then I'll go back to the code and I'll create a new file, drizzle.config.ts, and then I'll paste this in here. In this fourth step, we will declare the to do's schema. So I'll copy this. And in the code, I will create a file in the DB folder called schema.ts, and then paste that in here. The next step is to run the push command, but we haven't set up our connection or set up our environment variable with our connection string yet. So we'll have to go and do that first. So I'm logged in to the Neon console and I'll create a project. So I'm gonna call this drizzle ORM course and Postgres version 16, the database name, I'll call this drizzle ORM course and I'll leave everything else as the default and I'll create this project. So it gives me a connection string here. So I'll have to copy this. And back in my code, I'm going to create a .env file like this. And then I'll type in neon database URL equals, and then paste in the connection string and then save it. So now I can try running the push command. So I'll copy this, go back to the terminal, and run the push command. Now we're getting this error here that says cannot find module.env config. And that's because if we go into uh, the drizzle config.ts, we're importing env config, uh, which we haven't installed yet. So we'll have to install that now. So I'll go back to the terminal and run n npm install env. And essentially, what it does is it allows us to read in these environment variables from our env file and use them in our code. 
and then we can read environment variables like this. So let's try running the push command again. Okay, so it says changes applied. So let's go to Neon and see if anything has changed. So I'm back in the Neon console and I'll click I'll do this later. And let's go to our tables. And you can see we have a to-do table here. So let's expand this and then you can see that we have our to-do fields. In this chapter, we set up our initial schema and use the push command to sync our database schema to a Neon database.